Hey, it's Aran here. In this tech tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a professional email address from A to Z using a C panel. So my virtual assistant knows this like the back of his hand, and I've asked him to basically walk me through the process in a Zoom call, tell me where to click, go through the motions of setting it up from A to Z, add all the records and all that stuff, and do all the testing to make sure it works. Now I've gotten that particular Zoom call recorded. So you can actually see the entire process from A to Z. Now we did that as part of integrating system IO. So we're going to walk you through that entire process. And I just want you to bear in mind also that you could do the same thing for yourself, but your interface, depending on where you bought your domain name or where you bought your email hosting could look very different. So bear in mind that it's going to look different, but in terms of the process, it is the same. We are going to use a software called Hostash, and that particular software is where we have the email hosting, which is dcthosting.com trips hosting. You can also buy the hosting from us as well. And then my VA will actually do all the tech integrations in the Zoom call, just like it did with me, but he will do it with you. And that's how we have a email service as well. So that's, we are a reseller. So that's one option. Alternatively, you can also just buy the email hosting yourself from Google Workspace or from Namecheap. There'll be a link below for you to check out the different options and you can do that and DIY it by trying to follow what we have done in this one-on-one -on -one call, or you can have my team do it with you. So both options are fine. I figured I'll give you a DIY option in this tutorial and go ahead and implement as you go through step-by-step. Step. That's about it. Really appreciate you. Enjoy. So I am here with my virtual assistant slash tech coach in the dot-com truths membership, Peter. Hi, Peter. Say hello to everybody. Hey, um, everyone. <laughs> and we are in my email hosting software, which is Hostash. The domain name we bought is on Namecheap. And so Peter is going to walk me through creating a professional email address because we've connected the domain name and we've done that right here. And you can see that the domain name DCT Help is ready to use. And that's great. Now, we need to go to emails and we need to verify the domain name, which will be a different domain name to this one. And we need to verify a new email address. But in some cases, some people don't have an email address. And so I wanted to record the process of creating an email address. And so I've invited Peter to do this with me because he knows this better than me. So Peter, why don't you walk me through? So I'm in my Hostash account and I need to click on login to control panel. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Go ahead and click on login to the control panel. It's going to open in a new tab and now I'm here. Now yes. it is important to also note that this might look different depending on where you're buying your hosting. We just happen to be using a combo of Hostash and Namecheap. Okay, so what do we do next, Peter? Okay, cool. So go to click on here where it says list accounts and then look list at the accounts. domain. Okay. Then go ahead and search for the domain over here. Click on this as well. Now I believe we don't have that domain name. So we have to create a new account, right? Yes, that's correct. Let's okay. scroll down. Scroll down. So go ahead and type in the domain over here. Now, do I need to type www here? No, no, just the domain. ecthelp.com. Yep, that looks good. Type in a username, then password. 40 characters. Okay, and paste this in. Okay, retype. Very strong. And do your email. And email, or oh, what's the email going to be? Uh, so that should be your primary email. Partners uh, of, of the uh, domain? No, no, th th that should be uh, your ebooka at gmail.com. It's just ah, like a contact email okay, address. So I will do this one, ebookachi23. Yeah? Okay, okay, scroll down. Yep, that looks good. That's correct, this one? Yep, that looks fine. Too. Yep. Just okay. in case we need more emails, we don't need to go back there. Then go ahead and create. Create? Yes. Okay, so what's happening now is we're basically created a new hosting account for the email address. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. Shall I save this password? Yep, go ahead. Go ahead and save it because you need to log into the cPanel. Ah, okay. Into the account. Okay, so I will save. Okay. And go then to Top right. go to cPanel. Okay. A cPanel is the control panel for the professional email address, right? Yeah. And an email Something account? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it just explain to me what is the yeah. difference? What is, what is this? What does cPanel mean in this instance? This is where, what is hosting here? 
Okay, so the cPanel is like a gateway where you can host several stuff. So go ahead and click on the cPanel logo, then I can show you what you can do within your cPanel. So email is just one of the things you can do. Uh, okay. So if you have a website, you can host your website files. We have, uh, okay. we have the file manager. You can create your emails, you can create four days. You can, okay. when you scroll down, you'll see more stuff down there. So you can create databases over here. You can mm. get on with the domain subdomains. You have access okay. to the zone editor. And so this is basically the control panel for anything you want to do with the domain name. Yes, correct. And how you want to use it. So in this case, we're just going yes. to create an email account. That's all we're doing. That's all we do. Yes, okay. Right. Okay. So when I click on create. Okay. And now we're going to use partners is what the one we want to, we want to create and create a different password. Uh, no, this is the password for the email. The password you created was for the C password. The same one? So this is for the email. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Oh, same one as I did before? Uh, um, if you wish, you can put the same one, but uh, it's up to you. Okay. No right I'll or just, wrong answer. I'll, I'll just do it. I'll just generate a new one. Okay. Let's make it 32. Uh, both. Okay, both. Scroll down. Then click on update. Okay, 18. Yep. So, um, make, sure you want, make sure you copy this just in case. Copy that? You can create. Do you want yes. to copy that? Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, copy that in. Where should I save that? Okay, so now. Create. Okay, so that's good. So now we have our email, our email address. So the next step would be add the DNS records into the link sheet so that the domain can speak to the hosting. So go ahead and log into the uh, link sheet. So this is name cheap? Yep. Okay. Yeah, nice. That's good. Go ahead and click on add new record. Yeah. Then scroll down. The first one should be a txt. Txt. Okay. Yep. And then let's go back to the hosting C panel. Yep. And the C panel logo, top left. Then go ahead and scroll down. We'll see the zone editor. Zone editor. This one. Yes. Correct. This one. Okay. And then if we do that, click on manage. Manage. Okay. And then. Go ahead and copy this. This is the first drop that we had. This one? This whole thing? Yes, the whole thing. OK, so we're going to copy that, paste this here, add okay. symbol, and refresh, and, and click this. That's good. Let's go click on Add New Record. OK. Next one. Add another one? Yep. OK. So TXT, scroll down to TXT again. Back to the CT, TXT panel hosting, scroll down, I'll show you need to copy. We're going to copy the DQ. Starting this, from V, yes, this one? all the way to Q. Maybe. This big yes. one? Yep, the whole thing. But you copy it all the way to the end. So this whole thing, this is two records, no? No, that's one record. Oh, wow. OK. And place it here. Yep. Back okay. to cPanel again. What do I do here? Let's go back to the cPanel. Go ahead and copy default domain key. Just one single red oh, box. The main key. OK. That's good. Then okay. so let's try number two. Okay. Record number three, let me tap it. So go ahead and click on a record, okay. Okay, go ahead and type in mail, M A I L over here. Like this? Yep, that looks good. Let's go back to the C panel. Um, go ahead and copy 206, one of the IP addresses you see. I think they're all the same. Yeah, copy that. Go back to the machine. We start an IP address. Let's save. Okay, so we have one more record, which is on FX. So um, go ahead and scroll down. Yep. So we have mail settings. Can we go ahead and click on the drop down? Let me see what we have here. Okay, do custom MX. Okay. Then um, priority. Let's go back to the C panel. Let's scroll down. Scroll back up slowly. Priority zero. Yes. So priority zero. Okay. The, uh, this is the value that it points to. Okay, paste that in mail sign over here. And then the host, we can type in the add sign. The add sign. Yep. That looks good. Save all changes. Um, yeah, go ahead and save. Let me just confirm. Give me a second. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Awesome. Okay, so that's done. Um, so it's going to take some few minutes before it's working. Sometimes it works fast. It just depends on where the sun is indicated. Okay. Um, let's go back to the C panel and log in to forward my C panel logo, top left. This one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, C panel logo. Click on the left side. Ah, okay. C panel logo. Yeah, Email account again. again. Yep. Mail. Open. How much time do you have? We got a few more minutes. Okay, cool. Go to look up compose, send me a test in the little Do a test? Yes. Yep. No, you can add me as well. CC. Uh could you what's your email? Okay. 
So um, just to let you know, when you said it, it may end up in spam because the records have not yet propagated, but it could end up in spam because the records are new and they're not propagated. That's correct. Yet. Okay. Yeah, correct. What is this called? This is called um, this particular mailbox. What's it called again? Um, it's called uh, Round Cube. Right. From the Round Cube direct. Okay. Okay. So let's do a test. So I'm going to check my email on my phone. Oh, actually yep. got into the primary box. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. I received so it. I'll... I received it per just fine on my phone. So there you go. Okay. Cool. So I'll respond to it. Let's see if you receive my response. Okay. And then? Let me, let me respond to your email and then see if you receive it. Okay. I'll try and respond as well. Okay. I responded from my Gmail. Just give me a few minutes see if it's going to show up. If it doesn't, we'll put just a few tricks and see. Yeah. In the meantime, yes. I should, should I, would I be able to verify the email address and system? Um, until you're able to receive, no. Okay. Should be able to receive the email. Oh my God. I can hear you so much better now than before. Oh, okay. Um, you know, I'm holding my mic. The, yeah. the handle kind of like broke, so I need to fix it. <laughs> oh, this is much better. I can hear you. Earlier, I could barely okay. hear you. Sorry about that. What are you doing at my end so we can document that? Sorry, come again. What are you doing at your end so we can document that? Um, I'm actually trying to check and confirm the MX record. How do we do that? Because tell me how to do that so we can actually show people. So we have, so each, each C panel is different. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the correct, and also it depends on the, on who's doing the email hosting. So the tweaks are going to be different depending on who's hosting your email and where your domain is hosted. Mm -hmm. Some domain names, some domain registrar accept the ad signs, some don't, some have, like they're, they're slightly different. You just have to find out the right click with your mm -hmm. registrar. What website do you check to verify? Um, I normally use a DNS checker, the .org. So let me let me share my screen so people can see it. Yeah, can sure. Go ahead. DNS checker. Mm -hmm. The org. And then I will. Okay, go ahead and type it in. Mm -hmm. This is the help.com. Yep. A. Drop down. Yeah, we can start with the A record, but you have to put in the M A I L at the beginning because that's what it's pointing to. The which one? M A I L M A I L dot, and then go ahead and search that one. Ah, okay. Okay, that's okay. Good. That looks good. Click on the drop down. Um, we can do the SPF, which is the TXT over here. Yeah. And then get rid of the mail and then dot as well. Like that. Okay, search. Yep, that looks good. Okay, that's good. Okay, that looks good as well. So I believe the MX is where the problem is. So go and click on MX and then let's take a look at that one. Oh, okay. So it looks fine. Looks totally fine. Um, can you check in your run cube again? Let's see. Refresh. Did you reply as well? Y yes, I did. So let me, give me a few let me, minutes. let me just try to log out and log back in. Webmail, that was the name I was looking for. Okay, so looks like we have to add mail for this case, for the MX record. Where, where do we do that? Um, let me just confirm first. Uh, yes. So let's go back to private email, not private email, name chip. Ah, name chip, yep. Yep. And then the MX record, go ahead and edit this one, then add MAIL on this one. This one? Yep. Like so? Okay. Yep, that's it. And then save. Okay. okay. Let me do a next, a second test. And then reply again? Yes. We need to send it a second test just to see. But of course, we have to give it a few minutes. Mm. So I'm doing it for my phone. Okay. So call this test zero two. Should we do the DNS checker again? Yep. So this one, again, we're going to do mail.dct help, right? No, still remains mail. Uh, mail, sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like that? No, no, no. It remains as it is. Go ahead and ah. remove the mail dot. Yeah, because we didn't add anything on the host. Ah, okay. Yes, that looks fine. Okay. I think this is the this is one of the records that take a little bit of time before they start showing whatever it is. Um, can you can you send me a, can you send another one from here to compose again? And then let's do a second one. To you? Yeah, to me and to yourself if you wish. Okay, there you go. To... Oh, invalid email address. Oh, oops. See, okay. sending message successfully. Oh, I got okay. your reply. Yes, awesome. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. So now you can do it in system now that it's working. So now let me just reply from my Gmail, the second email. Okay, so my second email went to spam. I'm going to say report not as spam. Received at spam, but marked not as spam. Okay, so I'm going to reply. Sent from my phone. Refresh. Should be able to receive this, right? 
right away for the match. Um, what did you send it to? I send it from around the kaya to your to to to, to partners at DCT. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Let me do the next one. Okay, so while we do that, while we're mm. waiting for that email to land, we can yep. basically now verify this email address with system, right? Yes, correct. So we can go here, click here to confirm the email address, save, and now we're waiting for it to receive. So we'll go here. Mm -hmm. and we, should re we should receive an email from system as well, right? As well, yeah, correct. Well, we got the one from you. Takes a few minutes to actually receive it, huh? Um, it's just because it's still new, so mm. yeah. But once it's once it's fully connected, fully propagated, okay. it's, it's just going to be working as good as. In the meantime, can I verify the domain yeah. name so we do something at the same time? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Go ahead. So I click here and mm -hmm. I do dcthelp.com. Yep. And say. Save. The domain name is now verified. I received the email from system and we verified it. So that's all done. This is pending. So this might take okay. a few minutes. This yeah, that might take, yeah. Time. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the only thing maybe is just like, oh, oh, okay. You're using several domains. So just adding the email address down there. But since you have others, you can ignore that step. Like yeah. below it. Yeah. Yeah, I can ignore all this, right? Um, yeah, this is because uh, it has to finish propagating here. So once okay. it does... This is going to go away as well. Yeah. Yeah. So once this says yeah. verified, this little thing yes. will disappear. Yes, correct. Okay. And now it looks like the email from me also arrived. So everything is working. Awesome. It does, it does take time. Okay. So recap, yep. we've connected mm -hmm. Namecheap, which is where the domain name was purchased, to Hostdash, yep. which is where the email address yep. is being hosted. We mm -hmm. created a cPanel to be able to create the email account. And mm -hmm. we added the records to connect between host dash slash the cPanel to Namecheap. Mm -hmm. And we now yes. connected it to system IO. So we have a verified mm -hmm. email address. Okay. Yes, correct. And then also the settings, the CNAME records from system to okay. Perfect. the domain Perfect. registrar. Yeah. Now the domain name, I do believe the domain name is connected. And to verify that we go here and mm -hmm. type in www, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so that's all done. And I believe there is something already posted on this website. So let's just have a look. Okay, perfect. Awesome.